Hi everyone, Victor here again and in today's lesson we will learn about one of the OpenShift resources called Route and we will also learn how to create it. In our previous lesson we learned how to create service in OpenShift and we created both internal and external services and one of the external services we created is the node port. We were able to access our application externally by using the node IP address of where the application was running. Now let's take this scenario. Let's say that my application is a web application, a customer facing application and an e-commerce one for that matter, for example, Amazon. Would the users use the IP or node information to log into the web app? Apparently, no. Hence, the need to create a route. So with route, users will be able to externally access the application. Hence, route is used to expose applications for external access or to external networks. And to create a route, we need to expose the service because route is associated with service. So for example, if we have ports, then service, to externally access the ports or applications, we need to create a route. The route will expose the service and create a DNS name so that the application can easily be accessible by using the domain. And by default, route generates a DNS name in the form route name dash project name dot default domain. The, the default domain can be changed and it is defined in the routing config section of the OpenShift configuration file master.config.yaml and we will look at how to do that in other lessons. So basically, service is meant to be used internally by the ports and other resources and route exposes the service externally to clients or users another open shift or kubernetes resources that work similarly like route is ingress and ingress is actually a kubernetes resource and route and ingress allow certain types of traffic some are HTTP, HTTPS, TLS with SNI, that is server name identification, and TCP UDP sockets. So meaning you can either expose the service in a secured way or in an insecured way. Hence, routes can be secured or insecured. Insecured route doesn't do any form of encryption when there is data transfer or traffic of course no ssl or tls certificate so there can't be any form of encryption while secured route encrypts the traffic from the client to the route and also from the route to the pod let's understand this better in openshift there are three ways which routes can be secured and they are edge, pass through, and re encryption. So, what is edge route? Let's use this topology for explanation. With edge route, there is only a level of traffic encryption between the client or user and the route, and that's where it stops. No form of encryption between the route and the application ports. So, TLS only happens between the client or user and the route and terminates before the traffic is routed to the port. And because for edge route, TLS traffic happens and terminates at the router, the TLS certificate for edge route will be configured when creating the route. Otherwise, OpenShift will automatically assign its own certificate that is self-signed certificate to the route. The second type of OpenShift secure route is pass-through. With pass-through, route 
with with pass through routes there is a level of traffic encryption between the client and the router and also from the router to the application ports tls happens all through no form of tls termination all through from the router to the port and because for pass through routes tls traffic does not terminate at the router the application will be responsible for assigning tls certificate for the traffic the certificate can simply be mounted as a secret volume to the application port and the third type of openshift secure route is re-encryption with re-encryption with re-encryption re route there is full encryption from the client to the port just like pass through but the encryption from the client to the router is different from the traffic encryption from the router to the port so you might have different certificates for the re-encrypt route so having understood routing in openshift let's see the step-by-step -step guide of how to create this route so we are going to be creating an insecured route first and to do that i'm going to log in as the cube admin user so i can just say crc start to get the credentials again so i can say oc login user name cube admin and password i'm just going to copy the password here and paste it here so you can see that i've been able to log in and i'm using the project app project and what we're going to do now is to create a pod and like i explained in the previous lessons that when you use the oc new app command to create an application it will create both deployment and service for you so we're going to be using the OC new, new app command to create the nginx application or pod and to do that i can just say OC new app the image is going to be nginx and the name i'm going to call this pod is going to be nginx app All right, so we can verify that this has been created. So I can just say OC get port. So you can see that the port is running. And of course, if I say OC get deployment, we have the deployment. And like I said, the OC new app will create the service for us. So if I say OC get service, we also have the service. So we're going to be creating an insecured route first, which means that we're going to expose this service. And to expose a service to create a route, we will just use the command OC expose service, then the service name, which is engine X app. So you can see that it's saying that this service has been has been exposed so if i say oc get route so the cluster is beginning to become unstable so i'm going to try this command again so i'm going to do this again you know it's just um, the nature of CRC sometimes to always do this. So I'm going to say OC get route. Now we have the route. So I had to cut off some parts of the video while I was trying to make sure the cluster is back up. So I'm going to run OC get route again. So we have the route, which is, let me try and expand this screen. I'll run OC get route again so you can see the name of the route which is also the name of the service nginx app 
and you can see the service name in the next app you can see the port and you can see the url and like i said that it would always take when i was explaining the default um, url for route i said it would always take the route name which is this dash the project name which is this dot the default domain name which is this and of course in production environment like i also explained you would always want to change the default domain name to what is suitable to your environment accordingly but for the default this is what you're going to be having so if i say call on this route so you can see that i have my um, i have my welcome to nginx outcome which means that i am able to access the application and if i also do this on the url sorry i mean on the web let me bring up the web interface i'm just going to copy and paste the route here so you can see that i have the I can access this application, this Nginx application. So this is how you're going to create an insecure route in OpenShift. What I can also do is, so let's delete this route. Also delete route Nginx app. So if I, do, if I don't want to um, give the name of this route to be Nginx app, I can also change the name and to do that I can just say let's run this command again OC expose so I'm gonna say OC expose where's our OC expose command OC expose service nginx app which is the name of the service and I can say name I can just give the um, route any name I wish so let me just say I want to give the route name um, tech for example I can just say tech and so if I do OC get route so you can see that the route name is now tech and it's going to take of course the default which is tech app project dot apps so this is the default domain that I have in my environment here which might be different from yours if you're not using CRC and another thing I can do is um, let's delete this again. Also delete route. So I can also specify. Okay, so we change the name to tech. All right. So I can also specify the host name. So I can say OC expose service nginx app. So I can just say dash dash host name. So I can just give any host name. I can say web. Of course, it has to make sure that it's uh, being resolved, that the DNS is working well in your environment. So I can just say web, web dash app project. I can say that so app project dot apps dot crc dot dot test because this is what is being resolved. This is what is resolvable in my own environment. So I can say yes if I say also get also get route. So if I say call, let's try this. So could not resolve. So I did not get the name right. It's supposed to be testing. So OC expose. Set of test here is testing. So if I say OC get out. I say call testing here.
so we have yeah this is what i'm looking for so we have we can access the application so this is how you're going to create an insecure route in OpenShift. and thank you for watching in other lessons we're going to look at how to create the other types of secured routes in OpenShift. and please don't forget to subscribe like share and comment and bye for now